Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke and this is gonna be the start of a week in my life. done a full week in a minute and I thought this would be a good look at what my life has been like lately. I'm about to meet up with Danielle. Don't mind my um, sea of boxes here but I have so many apartment updates in this video too. So I, I guess I should start out the video by saying subscribe if you guys are new here. It's gonna be a fun week in my life. We're doing you know some moving updates, apartment updates. I'm gonna show you guys some new things in the apartment. We have to put together some furniture which is always fun and we are going right now to the office new office for gals on the go um i haven't been yet since it's been like officially ours so I'm very excited to check that out i just got back from nashville so i'm a little hoarse in the voice a little bit of screaming you know how it goes kind of wearing a random outfit at least for me but i'm trying to do something a little bit different these days this is a blazer from revolve this is a crop top um that i keep needing to pull my pants because i don't want to show too much but i like the cut on it it's from princess polly uh, bar necklace is R8. Jeans are Everlane. They're the 90s, and I really, really like them. They're definitely light wash, but I kind of, I, I think it's fun. And then um, these are old booties from Tony Bianco and Revolve as well. So I am going to head over to the office. Gonna check in. I need to like get set up with like my key and card and everything. Danielle went with her dad and did the measurements and everything already, but I, like I said, I need to go. We're gonna meet there. Let's get the day started. It's late, it's 2 p.m., but I unpacked this morning and like cleaned and I still have a lot more cleaning to do, but I did some, okay? I can't wait to show you guys the updates later. Hey guys, we are here now at the office. Danny's here too. <laughs> it's a sliding door and there's like a full functioning office around us, so we're gonna have to put in some things to get it going. We actually have a call with Danielle's interior designer to talk about the space and like what we're gonna do with it all. Cause we're gonna paint some walls and make a cube. We'll get some nice, honestly the sunlight in here is really good. Really if we open this up, look how bright it gets. Sharon. We just came here to, well honestly I needed to get my key card and everything. Got it all done. I know it's warm in here right now. We're gonna get um, a fan or something probably. <laughs> I guess we're gonna need Definitely. one, yeah. We, we're making a list of everything we need to order right now. All right, guys, we are on with Sierra. Um, we are, we're, you can't even see, it's like a glowing screen. We're in like one of these, like, just like telephone rooms, we basically. Are. Hello, <laughs> we're doing a little meeting. Oh, it's dark, that's why, sorry. Um, oh, we're doing a little meeting about our um, interior of the office. Go follow her, she's incredible. She's helping us create the dream Gals in the Go headquarters. Danielle's first Kava experience. I'm taking her. <laughs> I haven't been to Kava in so long, so I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me, Kava. I'm kidding. <laughs> I actually do love it. Um, greens and grains forever. It's literally the perfect fall day. We're walking through Nolita now. Gonna go home, change, and then podcast. Yeehaw. I'm home for the night. We recorded, got some work done, and now I'm making Annie's mac and cheese for dinner. We love, love a moment. Well, I had that Kava before. I'm gonna show you guys the apartment updates tomorrow when it's sunny. But this is very exciting. I was sent from Nutriboy. They sent me one of their smaller blenders because they watched my vlog, uh, my first move-in vlog, if you didn't see that, where I talked about Nutribullet and I said like, oh, my Nutribullet's so big or something along those lines. So they went ahead, they were like, hold the phone, ma'am. This is like the standard size of the Nutribullet, but I have like the bigger, like powerful blender one. And it's great, it's just like not crazy conducive for NYC living obviously, so I'm going to give that, I think I might give it to my brother. And it's getting replaced with this new sleek one, so thank you so much Nutribullet for sending that over. So sweet, and it's like this nice like white sleek, so I just have that to open tomorrow. Honestly, things are really coming along nicely. I'm gonna tie back my hair so I can eat this. Good morning you guys, happy Tuesday. Got ready, um, my voice is still a little sore today, I don't know why. Probably from all the yelling in Nashville. Love that. I'm about to go meet uh, Katie, Margo, and Danielle for coffee, maybe a little brunch. But before that, I wanted to show you guys all of the exciting apartment updates and things that have kind of changed around here. My parents are simply the best. We already knew this. But they came on Saturday while I was out of town and they just have a key to my apartment and they went ahead and did a bunch of things for me. Um, they are seriously the best. This is something just like that I like to do when they come and do stuff around my apartment, I order them like lunch. They tell me like what place they wanna try and I order them lunch from like either Uber Eats or DoorDash or whatever. And it's just something nice to do. I don't know, maybe that will help one of you guys out if you have like parents that like help you with stuff. It's always nice. 
I feel like to like pick up the tab for lunch or dinner or something. Not that it's required, but it's just like something thoughtful to do when people do thoughtful things for you. Anyways, these are very exciting things. Thank you guys all for the input and feedback on like what you think I should do around the apartment. Some of it's been really helpful. However, I did opt to go with the way like this sort of layout and I know not everybody wanted this, but I like it and I still need to put together the kitchen table. So a few things are gonna change, but I will show you. Like I literally still have boxes here. I still have to put together, like this is like my table and chairs, I think. I'm gonna try to get to that tomorrow. Probably not gonna have time today. But anyways, when you enter the apartment, this is now what you see. My dad mounted a TV. We actually got a second TV. We get our TVs from Costco. So that's where this is from. And he put it on a swivel actually so it could this is really cool kind of like tilt to the side like that the way that we intentionally did this is that if the balcony doors open let's just say it's like game day or something and we're outside we could be watching and see the tv a little bit from the inside obviously it's not perfect but it's pretty pretty good honestly really thankful about that that it's on like a little bit of a swivel and then obviously i got a rug this is from rugs.com i literally just googled for the size that we needed for the space i say we but i mean i and i wanted this walkway to be kind of clear and not really have a rug i might put like a doormat or something there just because i didn't want people's feet to entirely stomp on it especially because it is like whitish gray i just thought that this pattern was nice it just kind of goes um it's similar enough to my last rug but it's not as fluffy which I like because it's just a little bit more flat, a little sleek. So yeah, that's like what the rug looks like. The chair is still going to stay. This is like my bag for today. I, I, I love this bag. Danielle got me this bag. It's so cute. And then back there, I'm just going to put the table with the chairs. The bar cart's probably going to stay, but right now I've been using, don't even look, that corner for like all storage and stuff. I ordered a white sleek looking it's actually a dresser but it's going to be a little bit higher so it will kind of block some of the wires it will probably come up to like maybe about here ish it will be really nice because i'll have more storage with that so i'm going to get rid of this just because it's a little dark i i don't want it to be like I, I really want this apartment to be like very white and open which is why i do really like like the clear coffee table this might stay i haven't decided about this yet but overall i really like the look of it like this is what you see from this angle i still have to play around then with like wall art and stuff because i want to get a piece probably for this wall so there's definitely things that i still have to play around with but it was really nice that i was able to use so much furniture for my old apartment obviously the chair the couch that's from article this is cb2 if you're wondering the floor pillows i'm not really sure if they're chilling there or whatever and i know i still have like loose wires and everything but i really just want to show you that the tv was mounted and the rug is here this does need to be cleared out i'm still thinking about what i need to order for here in terms of like a bookcase or whatever because i do want to do that it's either going to be some sort of like entryway table or a bookcase hopefully a combination of both so the hallway it's nice and big the mirror is still going to stay hi cute little fit today it's all from everlane i'm going to take a cozy pick for the bedroom the update is that there is a rug on the floor this one is from I think it's from All Modern. I like it. It's like the perfect amount of fluffiness for me and it just has these like random gray designs, but it's like a cream color. I actually really like this rug. I think that it's nice. It just kind of keeps the room like sleek. What is this busting out of here? My hat, mm, that's not gonna go there. Also ordered a new dresser for here, just something a little bit bigger, just cause I need more storage. And we mounted the TV actually originally from the living room to here and we got a new TV for the living room. So when I'm in bed and looking out at the city, I can still see my TV. So that will be replaced. Probably gonna bring back home that side table, not sure yet. I feel like there's still boxes and stuff everywhere, which is really stressing me out, but I don't have enough storage yet within the drawers and things to like put things away as I would like to. A lot of things are still like pending, if that makes sense. I do really like the amount of space. I, I still have some clothes picked out. I have to take some pictures later, but I like the amount of space that like this side of the room has. My mom suggested getting the vanity for this corner, but I just don't really want to clutter it up. So I'm, I'm confused on what to do. That's the concern. I also still need to hang up my sunglasses organizer, which is actually a nail polish rack that I made into like a sunglass organizer. I'm gonna probably wear these today. Why not? They're kind of fun. And these booties from Steve Madden. I have to go because I have to meet them. We always say that we don't hang out enough. Obviously I see Danielle like every day. You guys know that. But Katie, Margot, like the whole group of us, we don't. So we're trying to like make it more of a point to like have coffee dates and stuff. And it's also a really nice way to break up the day from like 
working at home and stuff, it really is my goal to try to assemble that table or like hire a task rabbit too or something because I really want to be able to get like somewhat of a desk thing going because my desk has been so cluttered over there with all the stuff. So let's go get a coffee. Danielle and Margo are taking pictures right now. We're gonna go get coffee. Look how cute guys. She's posing. We just finished, Margo and Katie. Hi guys, we got some yummy coffee at Sunday to Sunday, Lower East Side. It's very cute here. Back from coffee, opening a package, very exciting one. It's from my faves, Chuff. They're so, so great. Um, they have, if you don't know, like it's, I don't, I don't even want to call it like designer hot sauce, but I feel like that's like what it is. It's like premium hot sauce. I'm not even a hot sauce person, but I love their other stuff. I love the truffle oil, the pasta sauces. Really, I like the truffle mayo. That's my favorite thing. I put it on legit everything and I've been out and I think that they sent me some more. Yes, it's so good. I would recommend starting with this if you're gonna start with something. So we got some truffle mayo. I think it's even more, oh my God. Guys, I'm gonna leave it closed because wow. And then they sent me um, a hotter sauce. Oh my gosh, love them. Thanks so much, Chuff. They, they hook it up for me. So now I'm actually gonna go out and run some errands. I have to mail a package. I'm mailing a bunch of books to the book giveaway winner. It's just been so long and it took me forever to mail those, but I did a book video a while back and I'm giving away books from it and I literally have two huge tote bags of books to give to her. So I'm mailing those off to her and she answered with her address and everything. And then, this is also exciting. I've been so into disposable cameras lately. You guys have to tell me what the best brand of them is because I've just been like, I had these that I was sent from brands like in PR and those have been great. Then I just got a bunch of Kodak ones and I filled this one up in Nashville um, on my trip. These are from like pre-games that I've had, so I don't even know what's on them. And I'm gonna drop these off um, at a place in East Village. I asked Margo where she goes, and she goes to this place, Luster. So very exciting. So we'll go do that, mail the stuff, and then get our nails done. So that's what's for the rest of like the afternoon, and then we'll get some work done later. And I just changed into, once again, Everlane, but like this little tank, because I was sweating in the sweater. Just walking down the street with a million bags. Literally, so many bags. Here we go, woohoo. My first time getting a solid color in so long, and I got red. I look good. Shout out to Miki. Now I'm going to drop my film off. I feel like such a New York City girl. Like, <laughs> film? Who is she? The red nails have me feeling a type of way, though, I will say. It's so spicy for me. It's literally right by Tompkins. That's where all my photographer friends told me to go. Drop off the film. They're going to email me prints. Don't know if this is TMI, but I literally ran from the camera store home because I had to go to the bathroom so bad. I literally sprinted. I was like, oh my gosh. If people just saw me sprinting on the road like in full clothes, that's why. The nails are just fire. It's so good. And now I'm doing a live event with, it's kind of dark in this corner, but the lighting is not my fave. It's with this brand Strive and basically they have all sorts of um, like jerkies and stuff. So this is a charcuterie slab and they sent me the cutter for it too. So I'm gonna cut this up and then they sent me a bunch of other good stuff. I'm going to join like a live stream and we're going to make a charcuterie board. They actually sent me a bunch of cheese, which I've just had chilling in my fridge. So I guess I could take it out. It's all from this creamery. I got this earlier last week. I was like, oh, is this cheese PR? And I was like, oh no, it's for this event. I'm not entertaining tonight or anything. I thought it would be fun to do this like as a pregame kind of snack, but not tonight because it is a Tuesday. However, I'm going to save everything and we'll see. But I'm having a big pregame later this week. Not big, but like I'm gonna order pizza and like do it right. So this is gonna be this tonight's event, but I'm gonna let the cheese kind of like get to room temp right now because I have it in 45 minutes. I made a little board for one. There was a lot of cheese and stuff, but and I'm already picking at it. I love doing cheese for dinner. This is the most adult thing that I have the luxury of doing. Tomorrow, I am going to start eating real meals and you'll see why. Watching Made on Netflix. And I just wanted to show you guys the nighttime view before I sign off for the day. I'm literally gonna take a bath and go to bed. Good night, NYC. See you tomorrow.
nice and tight because it's gonna fall over time, but I hear them. Happy Wednesday. Now I'm on the way home. We have a pretty busy day ahead, so let's get to it. After I got my hair done this morning, I finished the Love Hypothesis. Very cute, very, it got steamy. Like, I would say like two thirds of the way in. So if you could wait that long, it gets really good. Definitely recommend. And next up, I think I'm gonna read this one because a lot of you guys told me you enjoyed it. It's called Tell Me Lies by Carola Lovering. Excited about this. Lucy Albright is eager for a fresh start when she arrives in her small California college and immediately embraces all that college life has to offer new friends, wild parties, stimulating classes and then she meets of course a boy it's always the boy steven is determined to forget an incident buried in his past she knows there's something about him that isn't to be trusted but she can't tear herself away cool i'm going to get ready really quick because we have a special guest coming over very shortly i feel so professional doing this but i'm <laughs> hosting i don't really like, never do yes, this thank you for having me okay guys so it's later on and i'm here now with erica we are so excited. We got put in contact from Emma, yeah. our graphic designer for Girls on the Go, of course. Why don't you just take it away with like what you do, what you're doing for me today, yeah. et cetera. I'm so excited. Thank you for having me. Um, I am a professional meal prepper or personal chef is like the more technical term, but basically I come into people's homes, I meal prep for them, I pop it away in their fridge, I clean up their kitchens, and then they have food for the week. Brooke, I think you have an especially busy week, kind of. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. I think that this will be helpful for you. We're making a few kind of like sweet green slash kava inspired oh, things. Yeah. <laughs> Based on the call yeah. that we had where um, you told me what you like and dislike. So we plan the menu based on your likes and dislikes. And now I'm gonna cook it up. I'm gonna film the cooking side of things over on my channel. So if you want so to- So go check. It. I'll have the link to her channel down below. And she also does, you guys know I'm like, I don't know how to cook and stuff. So if you need like cooking inspo, definitely head over there. And I love how you do, like you said, like recreations of popular things. Yeah. That's my like qualm with cooking is that I find it veers either, and I don't like to label foods obviously, but like healthy or like unhealthy, you know? And yeah. I don't, not like I said that I'm trying to label, but I find that it's like the meal prepping that you think of like grilled chicken and like rice and it's like- Boring and yes. unhealthy. Yeah, I totally agree. I also don't like to put labels on things. I technically went to a health supportive culinary school. Cool. I like to cook all things. I am really passionate about putting food in people's fridges or just helping people cook in general. Cause obviously I'm one person I can't like cook. I'm not Santa, I can't, <laughs> yeah. the Santa meal prep, I can't cook yeah, yeah. for every single person. So I really like the idea of helping people understand how they can meal prep or just cook in general. Love. And um, I also think that Food you cook to yourself is just naturally going to be more health supportive totally not even meaning like the ingredients just like the act of cooking for yourself is a very you know nice thing to do for yourself Com i completely agree so we're gonna make like nine to ten servings for you wow. and it'll stay for four to five days in your fridge easily okay. and i can tell you if you want to freeze a couple of them that would be huge yeah because yeah, obviously you know Yes, life gets busy then, or it would be like a spontaneous dinner or something, and you're like, okay. Oh, spontaneous dinners, aren't they the best? Obviously, we know I love life in balance, so it's exciting to yeah. see. But also incorporating some real foods, because there will be weeks that go by that I'm like, did I have a vegetable this week? Yeah, like, it even happens to me, and like I do this professionally. So. Life just gets busy. <laughs> totally. Well, we're very excited. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> yes, yes. And we'll get to cooking. Erica is cooking now. She's in action, guys. Honestly, just watching even prep the vegetables and everything, like it's cutting is, I feel like for me, so much of the, I don't want to say like challenge, but it's like an, it's an essential skill that I feel like I need to properly learn. I feel like a lot of people need to learn it, but you know, it's not as hard as once you do learn it. Yeah. You know, culinary school is a good way to learn it, but also YouTube tutorials. Oh, that's great info. So what yeah. are these vegetables for slash what's going here on the stove? Yep, so we've got farro on the stove. Yum. A green salad bowl, Greek kava-ish situation. Um, and these veggies are going into some taco meat that we are going to load up with veggies just oh. to up the nutrient quotient. And that's gonna be a nice like taco salad. Yum. I've also got some sweet potatoes in the oven. Oh my gosh. So multitasking. Already. You gotta do it. If you're gonna be meal prepping, you, you have to multitask. Really? Yes. 100%. I mean, I feel like people really get down on themselves about using store-bought pre-cut veggies, but if you can afford it and it's the thing that's gonna get you cooking, mm -hmm. I feel like 
you got to do what you got to do in the kitchen. I'm very, I'm a big proponent of taking shortcuts where you need to. That's a great thing to hear. Yeah. And I feel like that makes me feel a lot better. Good. And you have a good knife, I see. Yes, this was a birthday gift from my spouse. It's a Japanese knife. It is very nice. It's very sharp. It's important to be safe with it. Love. You guys, Erica is so efficient. She's just like <laughs> buzzing around the kitchen. Okay, my question is, what three meals did we make? Okay, amazing. Today. So I'm working on two right now. So I can talk about yes. those. We have the um, taco salad meat right here. You can see it's very veggie forward, which I really Love like. That. that also has like a corn salad, a pico de gallo situation, obviously some nice romaine lettuce from Gotham Greens. I really like them. They're a nice New York based company. Mm -hmm. Honey lime vinaigrette. And then we have the sweet potatoes here for the sweet potato black bean nourish bowls. That's gonna get some um, good veggies and some goat cheese as well. Yum. Some steamed broccoli. The last thing we're doing is a Greek bowl inspired. We are gonna do some seared chicken, a little bit of Greek salad, a little bit of farro, which is in the sink behind me cooling off. So Yay. yeah, lots of stuff happening all at once. Amazing. And which of these, if I were to freeze some? Oh, such a good question. I would probably go for the sweet potato bowl just because everything is already cooked through. Nothing needs to be fresh, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So like every uh, the other two have fresh ingredients in them. So the taco salad has greens for the salad. And then the Greek bowl has a Greek salad that has fresh tomatoes and cucumbers in it. So because everything's already cooked in the sweet potato nourish bowl, you could definitely just like, if you wanted to pop all three or four of them away right away, they would reheat fine in the freezer after being in the freezer. You might want to pull, if you want, I can keep the goat cheese separate for you actually. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, maybe let's do that because uh, it's one see. gal. <laughs> yeah, everything looks so amazing and I want it to last. That's the thing. Um, my it all will last in the fridge very well as well. Obviously, I'm amazing for that. So my the like running joke that I always see on Twitter and everything is like the um, the bag of lettuce that's like left over in your fridge that you like constantly buy but you never do anything with it. So I'm like I'm refusing to let any of and this it go gets away. So shriveled. Yes. Yeah, that's a really sad. I feel like there are two lettuce jokes. It's that and then the bag of spinach that cooks down to like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I make eggs and I'm like dumping the yeah. whole thing. Amazing. Yeah. That was Yay. great info. I'm about to, well, you're heading I have 15 out. minutes, but yeah. I'm gonna head out. So I'm gonna leave Erica to it. She's the pro. She does this all the time. So yes. it's not like random that I'm doing this, like leaving her alone in my kitchen. No, I'm good. I'm but very you, trustworthy. You no, know, of course, of course. <laughs> and you will go to her channel if you wanna see like the exact cooking and like stuff. Cause I'm sure some of you guys are like, show us the cooking. Go to her channel. You'll be able to see it all there. Exactly what goes in what. And I'll yeah, show you the exactly. finished product when I eat it, when I get back. <laughs> Hello you. Hello you. Danielle and I are on the move. We're going to an event with L Beauty. Now Erica is still cooking in my kitchen, but she does this all the time, so it's not like random for me to like leave or whatever. But I'm excited because I get to go back to a bunch of fresh meals. I know, Danielle, I'm you. thank you. You want to have one? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you can. She's making like yummy bowls and stuff. Someone just said something. What do you say? Nice picture. It's a video. Ooh. <laughs> I hate men sometimes. Me too. They gave Danielle and I some champagne. We're gonna take Your some Your nails photos. look so good. Oh, thank you. Miki told me you're doing red too. No, I told her I wanted to, and she's like, oh, Brooke, and I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> You could I do won't. it too, we can match. <laughs> I'll do it the time after. I'm gonna go back to Danielle's apartment for a little. We just um, went there. It was honestly like really oh. great. We took our photos. Everything was set up so beautifully, so pink. Beautiful. They were so sweet, and we got um, a gift bag, so. Swag bag. Swag bag. And we ate milk bar cookies and now we're uh, I'm a happy movie. girl. Back at Danielle's, I was gonna go like to a coffee shop or something um, just to check my emails, do some things posting wise on my phone, but then I was like, Danielle, can I just come to your apartment? Like, yes, let's like, hang. Of course, <laughs> just for a little bit. Danielle showed what was in her gift bag, but the thing that I'm most excited about in this gift bag is the cordless rechargeable tool. Basically, we got to choose when they had a curling wand, which is what Danielle got. They had like a thing that basically like, sucks your hair and curls it. That was yeah. cool too. There was something else. Like a dry, a dry brush. brush. 
But this one, I thought I would actually maybe use. If I bring like a toad or something, I could totally see myself using this. The guy was like, bring it to the club and touch up. I know. <laughs> Honestly, when I wear my hair straight, like sometimes, especially if you're sweating, you get like those few damp oh. pieces. Oh. Damp. <laughs> the damp pieces. But you can also make waves with this that he showed us, which is cool. And they gave us some other things like some drinkware. Very cute. We love a tote bag. So yeah, I'm going to go back in a little bit and see... Um, I just got a picture from Erica. All the food's done. She's finishing up. And I'm so excited, you guys. I'm gonna eat up. So good. We eat good. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Yeah. Just got home and I am opening my fridge ah! to the delicious, delicious food. Oh my god, extra corn salad. And then we have all the delicious food. I'm so excited. She found the spaces for them. So we have the sweet potato and black bean nourish bowl. Yum. And like there's three servings of each of them. The Greek grain bowl. Oh my God, I might have that now. That sounds so good. Oh, actually, no, I want this now. The turkey taco salad. Enjoy chilled. Literally perfect. I'm diving in. I'm so grateful for Erica for coming and doing that. Oh, she left me a note. She's so cute. This is what it looks like. So everything is like individually meal prepped, ready to go. We got a dressing and everything. Oh my God, guys, I'm so excited for this. I'm still in my clothes because I'm hungry and I'm like so excited. So basically it's like taco salad. I mean, not basically, it is. These meal prep containers are really nice. They're from Amazon. Ready? It's amazing, don't have time. She's the best. So you can go over to her channel to learn more about cooking and stuff. I need to learn too, but, or she can come and cook choreo. All right, I haven't vlogged since I ate that food. I'm going on a date tonight, guys. Just gonna show you my outfit quickly before we head out. I actually took off my makeup and re-put it on. I struggle with like keeping my makeup looking like fresh. Like I feel like it looks good for like four to five hours and then it starts to like not, but it's it could just be in my head, but I'll give you guys a little fit check. I'm gonna put on this blazer. Not a normal outfit that I would wear to a date, but I really am stopping like the like caring about that and like sticking to a formula which not that i do but it just for anxiety purposes and for ease that used to help me but i think that it was getting a little too formulaic for me so anyways i'll show you this black top under is princess polly it's one shoulder actually but i'll probably keep the jacket on unless i get cold the blazer is actually also princess polly i like how long it is these jeans are, what is that brand? Rails. We went to the denim event for them a few weeks ago. I really like them and the boots are Steve Madden and I'm just gonna bring my black purse. So I don't know, something that I probably wouldn't normally wear to a date, but like I said, who cares? Like you just have to feel good and I feel good in this outfit. Um, I feel I feel cute, so yay. This is actually first date, new apartment. Not that he's coming here, but all right. I'm gonna go and have a great night and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Just stopped by Cynthia Rowley. She is gifting me three pieces, including one that I think I'm gonna wear to my cousin's wedding this weekend, because I don't have an outfit for that yet. So we're just gonna cross our fingers that it works. So, so cute. You should definitely go if you're ever in um, like Tribeca area. I love the store, it's so colorful and fun. Ooh, look, I'm filming something here, blue bloods. I've been having a very chill morning so far. I woke up and started cleaning my apartment, honestly, because I'm having people over for a pregame tonight. One of my best friends, Mariah, is coming back into town but I'm only here for a few days this weekend, so I don't think she's staying with me. I think she's gonna stay with my friend Alicia, but um, just to make it easy so she doesn't have to move her stuff. She's coming tonight, which is so exciting. So I'm gonna have like a pregame. We're gonna order pizza, make it like a thing. So I don't know, I was gonna walk home right now, but I don't know if that's the vibe. I'm wearing like literally athleisure. Tribeca is so pretty. I wanna show you guys what I got from Cynthia because I am very excited. Like I said, I have my cousin's wedding this weekend and I think I wanna wear this number. I'm praying that it fits. I should have tried it on there, but I'm wearing a sports bra, so it's just not the efficient clothing for it. Ooh, here she is. It's black and it's flowy and it's everything. It's like puffy sleeves and I feel like this with like heels will look so classy. So this is exciting. Next up, this pink number also could work for the wedding. I thought it was so pretty. It cinches like at the waist. It's a nice like flowy. I feel like this is great still into October, like a nice flowy number. Um, everything from Cynthia is incredible quality and I just feel like like it shows that it's like designer. So those are the pieces. And then we have daily drills who they reached out to me on Instagram to send me some stuff. Um, I'm very excited about this. My friend Mariah, she's a really big fan. I think her name is Mary Ralph who started it. Mariah always talks about her. Like, she, I think she just like likes her content and stuff. So I'm very excited to see what they have. I know it's like athleisure type of stuff. What do we have here? A sweatshirt, cute. It says today's forecast, sunny, and then like exclamation points. 
brought to you by daily drills i was actually just saying i need some new like fun sweatshirts to go into the fall so cute thank you so much to them so cute i put on the daily drill sweatshirt and i have pimple patches on just before everybody gets here tonight and it's chaos i'm eating one of my erica fresh erica meals i totally dug into it without showing you guys what it looks like so i'll show you she labeled all of them she's like such a, a pro this is the Greek grain bowl. So I don't know if her video is up yet, but you'll have to go to her channel to watch to see. But this one is grains and like, I think it's farro, cilantro, feta, tomato, cucumber, chicken. And then there's like this, I almost want to call it like a tzatziki sauce. It's fire. Let me tell you. The portion sizes are fire. So it's nighttime now. Um, I got a little more work done, which was good. Got some things submitted, some concepts for brands. I can't believe it's almost quarter four, which means, well, I guess it is quarter four. Added some curls in my hair. My curls from dry bar like fell really, really quick for some reason. Look at the city. We got the door open. I could show you my outfit. I'm going to wear like booties with it, but the top is Amanda Upperchurd from Fashion Pass. I'm wearing the same jeans as last night. Don't judge me. They're from Rails. And they're really comfy. This is like weird though. Like the side keeps like sticking out. I have to fix that because it's like almost like corset style. Interesting. I'm gonna wear the same booties as yesterday too, Steve Madden. They're gonna get here soon and I'm gonna order some pizza, but I wanted to show you what I have outside set up. It's really dark out here. I'm using my phone flash to show you guys, but I have a bunch of white claws and some alcohol and stuff in this cooler. And I'm gonna pour some more ice over it, but I have some ice already in there, so they're all nice and cold. This is from Costco. My parents gave this to me. I'm gonna be doing like the whole outside. I just am kind of working on the inside first just because my brain really can only handle so much at once. And I just had these chairs that were like indoor outdoor chairs, so I just threw them out here. But my parents got me also some lights from Costco that are under there. So this will be done eventually, just I'm not really in any like hot rush. Like it's fine, but at least right now it's like really spacious for people to hang out out here. Um, and it will be done eventually. Anyways, walking back inside, I turned on some more lights. All right, I'll try to get some quick iPhone clips when they get here of like the pizza and like me seeing my friends and stuff. But for the most part, I think it's gonna be an offline night because we're gonna go out like Lower East Side East Village, probably have a good night. Um, yeah, enjoy those clips. And if I don't get back to you guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe, really supports my channel, give me a thumbs up, comment below. I love you guys and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye guys.